This is the Raspberry Pi PIR motion sensor project. So as you can see, you can see the motion sensor here. It is connected to the Raspberry Pi GPIO pin 11. And there's also an LED here just to uh, light up when there's an intruder that's detected by the motion sensor. So this is the code for the whole project. Um, you can see that we are using GPIO pin 11 and after that we are reading that GPIO pin and if it outputs a low signal then it means there are no intruders and if it's a high signal it means an intruder is detected and we light up the LED. So we'll just quickly run this program. I'm using the VNC server to replicate the display of the Raspberry Pi on my laptop. So we can, the file name is called PIR test. So we can run it using this command. And when we are running it, we can see on the display that there are no intruders detected by the sensor. But as soon as I place my hand over the sensor, the LED lights up and the corresponding text shows intruder detected. So it's a really simple project. All the beginners out there can get started on using the GPIO pins with this really simple project. You can see here that when there is no part of my body in front of the sensor, the LED is off. And when I'm moving my hand over the sensor, the LED lights up. So it can be used for making burglar alarm systems and other projects. So you can adjust the sensitivity of the sensor too by adjusting these two knobs here. Based on that, the delay and the time taken to detect each um, person or each object increases or decreases. You can just use a screwdriver to adjust the delay of the sensor. So that's it guys, have fun.